All right, let me show you really quick how you record vocals in GarageBand. So it's really simple. First of all, you click on GarageBand and this window will pop up and you click open empty project. Then you got these four options and you can choose whatever you want to because you can always change it. Make sure this one is hooked and make sure you have the right import. I will get into that in a minute. So I will just click open and we have an empty project here. So the first and most important thing you want to make sure if you are recording vocal uh, with an external mic, which means a USB mic or an audio box, you have to be able to hear yourself in your headset. And that is what this yellow button here is for. So make sure that one is uh, orange yellow and you have it down here as well. So if we go down here, you can see that you can choose which microphone you want to use. So I have a USB mic called Fafine and that one is chosen. <clears throat> and the little circle here is called uh, mono or stereo and you want to make sure that it is not two circled but one circled. <clears throat> so make sure it is whole and you are good to go. Out here you have effects and you can choose uh, some cool effect on your vocal. Um, so this one here is your track. And that is what you want to say if I have dance vocal. Um, you want to make sure that this is the track yeah, that is marked. And you click on the effect that you want to add to this specifically track. This is your marker, which is showing where you are in the recording. So make sure that you click this one here. Go back to the beginning and play. Otherwise, you're like... Where is my recording? Um, up here you have the recording options. So you have to, to be able to record. <laughs> you have to click on this uh, red button and you are recording. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so um, if these is all the way up here, you are probably way too close to your microphone so then you either have to go further away or you have to set the sensibility on your audio box so let me show you what an audio box is you have this here which is an audio box and you have an import one and two so if we go back to GarageBand you would have to choose import one or two depending on which import your microphone is in. If you had your keyboard in import number two or a guitar, you could make a new track here. If you go to track, new track, and you have, yeah, say a guitar. Um, and you could choose import number two because this is where your guitar is in. I hope that makes sense. Say that your microphone is in import number two. Uh, you see this uh, one button here. That is how uh, much volume your microphone is taken in. So if this one is really, really high, your sound is not going to be really great. So typically this is this has to be set like in the middle. Um, but if you have a song that where you yell a lot, it can be a good idea to turn it down a little bit. Or if you have a really good microphone, it can also uh, be a good thing to turn it down a little bit. But you'll just have to see. So uh, going back to GarageBand, this is like, uh, you can have these be a little bit higher than this. Um, this is not a lot. So if we go back to the dance vocal track, um, you can adjust the decibel here, like the volume. Uh, so if you think, oh, I'm not speaking um, that loud right uh, in this on this track, you can always take it up. Yeah. So up here, let's go back up here. You have your tempo. So if you have a really slow song, 
which you want a metronome on. This is this is what uh, makes you hold the tempo. So it can be a good idea if you have a really fast song or a really slow song, where you have to be able to know whether you are right on tempo or not. So this is what is like uh, all the way through your, your track. <laughs> because I remember when I first started using GarageBand, I'm like, what is that sound? So if you don't want it, you just click up here and it is not going to be there. One, two, three, four is just uh, showing that it is counting down from four before it starts recording. Yes. Okay. So you are actually good to go with either a USB mic or an external mic if you want to record vocal. So let me talk a little bit about the vocal settings. Um, if you want a really good vocal setting that gives you a clear vocal, you can take a look at this video to the right because that's where I show you my exactly vocal setting. So check that out if you want. And the other video here is showing you how to export the track to your iTunes, uh, like to an MP3. So this is uh, going to give you a really good start, I think. Um, and I just want to wish you good luck. And I hope I will see you in another video. Have a good one.